Hey, digging these beats, man. Let's go. We're live from downtown. No, I'm not in downtown Champaign. <laughs> I'm in the western half of Tolono, Illinois. Never heard of it. That's okay. Not many people have. Tiny town just outside of Champaign, which is where the University of Illinois is. Thanks for joining us. My name's Nate Albaugh. High school football coach, long time high school football coach here in Illinois. I'm in the middle of season number 20 for myself. Season 20, right? Oh, I better shut off my mic over here. I can hear that. Um, we're sitting 3 0. Got a big game this Friday night against a local school that's significantly bigger than us, and they're pretty decent. It should be a war. It should be a war. Def it's a, and it's one of those teams that's next to you, but you never play them. Right, you never play them. In fact, we don't play them in a lot of sports. We're kind of the two local wrestling powers too. We're the two local wrestling powers, and we don't usually wrestle each other, which kind of bothers us. We want to wrestle them, um, but anyway, we got them this Friday night. Muhammad, Muhammad Seymour, Jason Eddings in the house out of Cali. Welcome, Coach Eddings. Ben Campos in the house out of Southern Illinois. David Thomason out of Oregon. Larry Alba out of Noonan, Georgia. Guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for checking in. Anybody else that's here, please check in. Let us know where you're watching from. We got a special guest tonight, another friend of Chief Pigskin. Had Ben Campos in the house last night watching game film from Carbondale. Longtime friend of Chief Pigskin. Another longtime friend of Chief Pigskin. I'm sure most of our guys that are here with us regularly uh, know him pretty well. That's Cody Gardner. Tomorrow night, we got Slade Singleton, who is our big-time spread passing guy. He, big on the uh, spread QB run game. Uh, he, Slade Singleton's in the house tomorrow night, and he is out of North Carolina. He's moved to a couple schools in, in the last several years, so I don't know if he's in North Carolina or South Carolina right now. But we got Slade tomorrow night. Thursday night, we got Doug Samuels. Samuels is one of the main guys that runs X and O Labs. So that's pretty cool. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Not X and O Labs. Football Scoop. Wait. Now I'm blanking on which one it is. I think it's Football Scoop, right? Somebody help me out. Doug Samuels. That's that's Football Scoop, right? Okay. Uh, Doug Samuels, who's a head coach in Michigan, and he's going to be in the house um, Thursday night. So it's a great lineup. we got a great lineup. i got another group of great coaches, which includes Coach Thomason out of Oregon next week. Also includes... Um, a guy, I don't even know his name yet. His Twitter handle is just like the hammer out of Atlanta, Georgia. And he looks, I, I, I'm excited to meet him. Also out of the Atlanta area next week, got Jonathan Guess, defending five-time defending state champ coach out of Eagles Landing Christian Academy, just south of Atlanta. They're unbelievable. So we got a great lineup, man. How are you guys enjoying this watch game film segment? I'm liking it a lot. I feel like maybe this is where we go from here on out. I mean, I don't know. You guys uh, would love to hear your feedback on where you think we go. Do we stick with the game film from now on? Um, or do we give it another month? I think, like I said, I think it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to keep conversation going, a great way to get to know guys, right? It's one thing to get to know a guy personally, but we're all coaches. It's like, you want to watch, you want to watch what he's doing. What does he like to do? Pick his brain. What do you think in here? What do you like here? Why do this? Why not do this? You know, you guys know I love that stuff. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to go get Cody Gardner in the house. In the meantime, while I go let him in, would you guys leave us a thumbs up? Please leave us a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, yo, yo, we need you to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Let's go get Coach Gardner in the house. Over to my Zoom call. Here we go. And admit... There he is. Admit, Coach Gardner. There he is. All right, I got to go hide self-view. Coach Gardner in the house. You got us, Coach? Um, I hear you. I yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't see you. Okay, okay. I just got to turn on my camera over here. Sorry. Okay. For some reason, and it just started. My, my camera started shutting off on me. I don't know why, but we see you. You can hear us. We hear you. Awesome. Welcome to Cody Gardner. Hey, a couple other guys in the house. 
Chase Yake watching out of Florida. 130 Albert. Hey, I don't know if you have you been here before, 130 Albert. Brian Gaskin in the house out of Dayton, Ohio. Guys, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. Watching a little game film tonight, and we're watching Utah game film. Park City picks up, baby. Hey, is there a hand signal that goes with picks up? It's a great, huh? I like that tagline. Well, we, we you know, we, we, we cross it. We cross this. Picks yeah, up, our, baby. Yeah. You'll I see, like, like it a lot. Post, like, at, like post game wins. You know, parents take pictures of the team. Yeah. And you'll see the guys all throwing up. Picks up. Picks. Hey, I added you to the wall, Park nice. City, Utah. You've been officially added to the wall. You can see the guys that we've had Rio no. Preto, the Wilers out of Brazil. We got nice. Park City. Hutto, Texas, we've watched film. Carbondale, Illinois. This has been a good run and been a lot of fun. Guys, if you're just getting here, leave us a uh, check-in. Let us know where you're watching from. Leave us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. We're watching game film, man. Hey, without further ado, let's not delay this. Yes. How was your COVID season? How many did you get in? Hey, oh, again, coach, just so you know. Oh, yeah. If I, you got to pull this up on your, your film up on your phone. Because if I share it with you, then nobody can see you. I'm, yeah, I should be good. Okay, so you got this up on your phone? I've got it up on another screen. Oh, I'll perfect, perfect. See your face, dude. Perfect. As long as you can see your film. Because yeah. I'm on play two. You got 12 okay. games in? Yeah, yeah, we got 12 in. We were nine and three, lost in the quarters in the last seven seconds. Wow. Um, we had a pretty blatant pick route. I'm not going to bitch about it, but we got. My safety got picked, and there was a tackle at the goal line. If he doesn't get picked, it's probably a, the game is over. So it is what it is. We didn't make the play. We got to move on. Um, so which you're on play 12, or are you yeah. on play two? Watch no, defense. two, two, play two. You want to watch offense? So you just sent us a game? Yeah, I sent you the whole game. Okay, deal. So who are you playing here? Snow on the ground. Look at the mountains. Yeah, we're playing Logan High School. This is the second round of the playoffs. Wow. Okay. And Park so, City High School. Hey, I hear good things about Park City, Coach. You should. You should. It's a pretty neat place. Um, you know, we're at a mile and a half high elevation. Um, Jeez. It's a pretty big advantage. Everybody comes up there. We're colder and higher in elevation than everybody we play. Really? And, you know, yeah, we'll play some teams from down like about 45 minutes. Uh, like east of Vegas, and they have to come up and play us in the playoffs. They don't want to come up. So. <laughs> I'll um, bet. All right, so, so you guys still, just march it down and score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, we're pretty, that, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty good drive. Um, so I'm now we're on 12, play 12. 12 defense, yeah. And I've got, I, I gave you both angles, so we'll share both angles. Um, that hey, way, anybody run. Anybody in the chat, you guys, if you guys have a question for Coach Gardner, don't hesitate to lay it out there. If you got your own thoughts, feel free to carry on your own conversation there in the chat. And if you haven't checked in yet, check in. Let us know where you're watching from. Brian Clee in the house out of Michigan. And uh, that's out of coach, coaching football with Brian Clee. Look him up, boy. He's got a great thing going. All right, man. Play number Play one. Play number 20. one. 20 yep. personnel, power, right out of the gates, uh, right? Yeah. yeah, so if you want to go to the end zone, view. But what is this, dude? They're pulling tackle. Oh, wow. Yeah, they Ooh. pulled the – How yeah, about that end zone like, view? There you go. Right? So, you know, we're a spill team, right? And, uh, you know, we talked about this before, but one of the things, but our DN, when you get the second-level guy that kick out, he's the hit and get vertical, kind yeah. of show in the hole. Uh, does a decent job. I wish my mic would have scraped tighter and filled this. Um, he gets kicked out. Um, How about yeah. look at the size of your little stack backer? I just paused it right as 60, whatever, six or eight just swallows him up. But your little cat does a great job scrapping, man. He's literally like a foot shorter than this kid. Yeah, that kid's 6'6, six, six, like 320. My kid's. Five seven one forty seven. <laughs> hey, and he's like... bigger than my Sam. You, know, you see my nickel, my overhang number ten. He's bigger than him. Dude, this D end. I'm watching this D end. We call this spill and prize. So he spills, and as you said, after you spill it, you get vertical. Yep. And he does yep. that, Coach. I noticed that you guys. He's in a. He's in a head up. Four. Tight five. Tight five. 
You call yeah, that tight five. five. Okay, because the tight other guy five. is the other guy's loose. Yeah, he's a little looser. He's not the athlete the other kid is. And the 82 likes to angle just a little bit. So his hat seems tired, but his hips are kind of his hips tend to be in the in the C better. Yes. Um, but because of his athleticism, because he's just he can bend and move. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm always jealous of defenses that get to wear black. There's yeah, just something those, tough are, about all black. So we wouldn't we wouldn't wear them. We lost in them a couple times the year before. Yeah. They were, they were cursed. So we didn't wear them the entire regular season. And then we were the number one seed, so we wore them all the way through. Really? Yeah. We're going to play, yeah, play 13. All right, let's play 13. All right, go then, straight to the end zone view. Yep, straight to the end zone. Now this time, all right, uh, they're in trips. So we bossed our backer. He comes back in when he loads the box. Yeah. This time, you see that that, 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 that sniffer did a much better job of being patient. Yep. kind of washed my guy. Yeah, he went right to that DN. Yep, he knew it, and he kind of waited and hooked him. Wow. Right, my, my, back, my mic did a better job that time, but without the DN, it really didn't matter. Now, this stack backer that's coming down, Hill, is he technically a spill player, too? 14. Is that his number? The little guy that just yeah, got yeah, yeah. eaten up yeah, on the Mike, last play. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, he's a spill. He okay. has to run off that edge. He's replacing, so when he gets the block down, He's running C gap. He should be able to pick the pocket at the end. See how there's three feet? It yep. doesn't take that long. So he should be able to pick that that snipper's pocket so that he takes up the space. Got it. Yes. And kind of, but he leaves too much space in there, right? He, he, so he pushes his hips wide. Would love to ask the guys in the chat, do you guys have language for that? Oh, Alexandre in the house out of Brazil. Um, it's late in Brazil, Coach. I appreciate you staying up to catch these lives. So you guys, he's uh, talking about being able, as this linebacker scrapes, being able to pick the pocket of his D end, right? Being that close. For us, we use the language strike a match, right? Like we'd like, we want to be able to strike a match off that edge, which of course in theory keeps that guy tight. Curious if you guys in the chat have language for that same thing. Do you use either of those or have your own? Man, your outside linebacker just comes in like a madman. Goodness. He's a madman. All right, play 14. Right, so, yeah, keep it on the wide. So okay. they have they have a couple D1 receivers at number one. And their quarterback had a big arm, but not real accurate. So we would never normally play our corners as deep as they are, but we are way off. And we yeah. kind of talked about it all week. Like, hey, they're going to throw a quick game? Cool. So this team was unique. Their wins came when they had over 125 yards by their running back, but they had to score through the passing game. Yeah. Right? They had to sustain drives and stay ahead of the sticks with the running back to where then they could be hit from kind of that 30 and in range. Um, and so we felt like if we made them throw hitches all night, we'd be okay. Um, because it did, he wasn't wildly accurate. So the fade balls, jump balls, those guys would fix his accuracy issue. Um, and so we wanted to stay above everything. Even in this situation, even in third and short, we didn't. I was not going to let them come down. So, Alexandre asks, um, what technique did you teach your DN when spilling? Is it more of a wrong arm technique or more of a dent tech? We wrong arm. We wrong arm. We have specific rules, though, about how we do it. Um, we And you'll see some better end zone angles as we go through. But um, we used to, like, squeeze it down with extended arms, and now we don't do it. We talk about eating up the lineman's ribs and keeping tight. So we actually let the offensive lineman down block shield us, and then we kind okay. of attack the puller. Um, so we go to play 15. Hold um, on a sec. I got a question about 14. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go J ahead. Jason Edding says they use the language, scrape the paint. I like that. Nice. I'm noticing that you got three guys out there over there, three, that are all backpedaling. So are you in straight man there? Maybe you already said it and I was no. reading comments. No, we're, we're in zone. Really? Because, yeah, you got yeah. three dudes cool. there on 14, all of them backpedaling. Yeah, we've got... Um, so those guys... Uh, is there a flat player there? there? Yeah, Ken. The guy that's on the hash. He's the flat defender. Okay. So we're, we pattern match everything underneath. Okay. So like, um, and he's cross-reading, right? So that back, when they see that back come through, no mesh, they're instantly peeing past. Okay. Right? Boom. They're getting their pedal now. All right. I'm ready for 15. <laughs> yep. And so 15 should give us another good look at maybe like a, with our wrong arm technique. 
So now they go. Him, go to yeah, the so, they, so they keep lighting that guy up, split, displaced, and, and then they man. bring him in. Yeah. And so that kid that's a little wider, you'll, you'll see here. See how he's. Right? He keeps. He, right? It doesn't have to. We're not worried about getting a big shot on that guy, but he can almost right. get the two for one. Right? And then we yeah. get a decent. We get a much better scrape by that backer. I like that, man. Boy, that is a that's a good spill by this kid. Yeah, he was excellent at it. And you can tell, like, he doesn't look overly athletic. No. Nope. But he's he's, he's getting a, that job done, though. Yeah. He's, of all the kids we've had, I mean, he's the least athletic. Man, um, fellas, like, look at this. You know, look at this stacked backer come downhill, man. I mean, yeah. just put his shoulder down at contact. Yeah, but. Ooh. <laughs> Hey, what's your Mike linebacker? Listen, this sure looks like a 3-3 stack. This is 3-3 stack. I, I gave 2-3 because I knew you'd like it. <laughs> I didn't, wasn't going to offend you with you know all the crazy you know, even front stuff. I, I, knew my, <laughs> I know my crowd. Dude, I just don't know how you keep track of it all. Hey, though, when if I ever get my chance, a chance again, to call a defense, you're going to have to walk me through how to keep all this straight in my head and know when to call these things. All right. What is your Mike linebacker key in? So the, the guy that makes the play? Mm, no. I was thinking that was a stack. Number who's eight? This, who's this? Yeah, who's it? Eight. Okay. So for our language, the middle guy is my beast. Right? Okay. And then strength-wise, it's Sam, Mike, Will, Zeke. Um, so, so what's the, the beast, beast key in? The beast is reading triangle. He's reading the guards to the... To, to the to the to the near back, he's reading the triangle. Now he has no gap. My center, my nose guard is two gapping. Okay. The stacks have B gap and the ends have T gap. So he's okay. really. But that's what he's reading. So when he sees the pull, he should be gone. Okay. All right, I'm on play sixteen. Yep. Again, bring that. But you know, these teams. If you're gonna bring the guy in, motion him in to be an H back that often, why mess with it? Yep. And again, Maybe they I'm go wrong. quick game. Yeah, they go quick game again here. We're playing 12 yards off. Don't care. Yeah. You gotta be right. willing to give it up. Yeah, we just because I know the other way is point. Right. Yes. And so we get him in here in a third and two. Um, go ahead and go to the end zone copy on the play 17. Now they All right, bring in 17. Third and two end zone copy. Oh, they bring 99 into the backfield. He's 260. Look out. Okay. Now, 99 in the backfield. Straight ISO. Right. Exactly. And that's really all they had to ran with him. I'm like, Dude, if they want to throw the ball to him, that's fine. Look at your so, outside linebacker. So that's not. That's actually my. That's that 19. Who's that? That's my stack. Right? That's the stack. So, well, if that's the stack, the stack, who's the kid that's stacked? 15 is my outside backer walking in. Okay, so we do these kind of things. So right now I've got my outside backer to the field side, walk down over the tight end. I've got my will backer walk down. So this for us would be, this is our Oki front. Okay. So now we're in a five, five, two, right? But since there's not a detached guy, actually they might have, yeah, there's not a detached guy to the boundary. So my outside backer going stacks in and we man up that guy one-on-one -on -one because we figure it's heavy run. So now we're essentially on five, three. Now this kid just comes screaming. What are his, yeah, what is his it, aiming point here? Like when so he's, he's, what's he being he's coached? Running, so the, we call it crush, right? So he's running the heel line. He's running okay? the heel line. He's gonna line. collide the first thing that he sees. So he's visioning the hip of that, that tackle. Boom. Hip of that fullback. He gets Man. away, away, he's down the line as fast as he can. Now, okay? the only bad thing yep. about crush is if they ran boot, You'd be SOL? Not, no, no. You see where 14 is? The scraper? Scraper on the outside, because he's yeah. getting down, down. So his down, down rule, that's cloudy. So he's going to replace, he's going to scrape off. So that would be your guy to give you some pressure yeah. on boot. Yep. Yeah, because he's reading his blocks, right? He okay. gets pull back away, down, down, that's flow away. So flow away, he's checking a gap, and then he's going to have that, the counter cut back reverse. Dang. Okay, man. Thumbs up on the first drive. Two snaps on the first drive. That was killer. Guys, if you're just getting here, this is Cody Gardner, defensive coordinator at Park City, Utah, 2019 state runners-up. Uh, we're watching game film out of Utah.
and uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. If you're also, if you're just getting here, check in. Let us know where you're watching from. Leave us a thumbs up. That's only if you uh, are a nice person. And if you're not, go ahead and don't worry about it. Coach, we're going on. Yep. So they go. They go back. Next drive, they go back to quit game. <clears throat> Hold up. I'm still going. I'm still going. 23. You guys yeah. still have the ball. Are you about to score again? Yes, sir. I do believe. Field goal. Oh, didn't make it. Yeah, uh, happened. Missed field goal. Okay. So quick game. Play 28. Yep, they come out quick game. Again, not worried about it. Right, we're going to show better patience. 29. We can go to the end zone copy. Okay. And then they're going to come in. They don't motion the guy. We're not tricked by the motion. Um, so there's they go back to power they go back to power and that my spiller makes the play Ooh. he goes he's flying down in there <clears throat> hey is one of these your dude your coco dude no coco played you know, coco coco would only come in when we needed him he's a full-time o guy oh what do you play so on he, offense uh guard Okay. Hey, Ben Johnson in the house out of Southern Utah, reminding me that Southern, uh, Southern Utah, out of Southern Indiana, reminding me the special teams are indeed a third of the game. <laughs> Joe Maritalar in the house out of Westlaco, Texas. He says, do you line up outside linebacker inside or outside number two receiver? Typically inside. Typically inside. Okay. Yeah. Unless we're in our three high safety look and we do some stuff. We have a, we have a call called Betty. Since it's backer, kind of plays outside the leverage, kind of becomes a bracket coverage. Okay. Um, so th th if you see an outside backer with swung leverage, it's more likely a Betty call. Your um, so here again. Uh, I was just going to say your nose does a great job being nasty with his double team because he's got a nasty double team on him and he splits it. Yeah, he didn't. He's the kid that left uh, as a junior to go live in the Caribbean in like a uh, like a off grid high school and like snorkel for like he wants to be a marine biologist. Like what? they're doing a dissection, he would go snorkel and get the thing. It was crazy. Wow. He was, he was my best D lineman coming back. And like when I said that to people, people would laugh. Like, you have Coco. I'm like, if this kid comes back, he's better than Coco. If I see him. <laughs> he went and snorkeling. He, yeah. He's a big mountain skier. He's a different dude. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we're on play 30, and the defense just flipped. So we really got a great end zone view. Hey, Colin Davis in the house. Another fellow Unity Rocket. What's up, Coach Davis? Um, all right, so play 30. I love this view. I, I, I could watch defensive football like this all day. Yeah. And they just go quick game slant. We tackle it, you know, um, just open field tackle to make the tackle. You think they're reading anything? Because they're blocking power up front. Yeah, yeah. I think it was just a gift. I think it's one of those gifts to those. We were going to yep. give them the gift. Like I said, they had to run the ball to win. Like right. they did like if I went to like max preps and searched and sorted running yards, all their wins when they got over X amount of yards. So if I could make them throw quick game gifts and get the ball out of the kid that makes them when he's productive they win, mm -hmm. I felt like it was a victory for me. Because I also know all their points were coming through the passing game. And they weren't oh. gonna score points though when hitch and slam. I'm on thirty one end zone yep. view. Man, you guys are I, I'm this this spill right here from this DN, this D end on the right. Yeah. That he is runs just, underneath it. What yeah. what's so awesome, you know, you get kids and they're okay, they're pretty good DNs that still when they squeeze, it's not like a it's not a, a clear direction change. You know, yeah. it's more of like a they're leaning towards that yeah. spill. This is a significant change of direction by your DN and just gets yeah. under it and prize it. Yep. This we, is we awesome. We pride ourselves on it. Um, you coach, will not what, get on the field. What position, what position do you coach? Me? Yeah. I coach the back, inside backers. So, so you got to tell your D-line. Line. You got to tell your D-line yeah. guy that we were giving him big props. Yeah, he knows. Like, I, I sing his praise. He's a perfect, he's a big teddy bear. Um, he literally gives the kids candy when I scream at him and stuff. It's a perfect thing. You know what's cool, too? I mean, listen, an 82 is doing an incredible job. Yes, sir. 
But he doesn't look, he's not like, he doesn't look like he's going to TCU next year or anything. Uh, he doesn't look like he's got this big scholarship. He just looks like a normal kid that's good at football. Yeah. And he's a he's a freak athlete, but yes, um, he'll be. I always say uh, that kid is is unique, um, but he'll be the first millionaire I coach, like self made millionaire. He's just different. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like and so they, here here's an example of what we thought might happen. We knew that he wouldn't take hitch. You know, Man. they called the run, receiver runs it. So you guys look he, at so we're on play thirty two. Look at the the corner is ten yards off, easy eleven. Yeah, and they they can't be patient. They still yeah. they've got to have it, <laughs> right? So now we get them in a third and short. Now here's the thing: they totally miscommunicated because that guy ran up about a yeah. ten yard stop, and they yep. threw it deep. All right, so now you got what is it? Third and about four. Third and four. Now here comes Coco's in the game. Now. Coco's okay. right in. We'll Am I going end zone view? Here yeah, comes Coco. View. Boy, look at that. Hey, I, I noticed the neck pad. Yeah, yeah, dude. You know how close I am to buying my son a neck pad? Just, I'll buy him one. Just feels necessary. <laughs> once you get be, once you become a full-time defender, I'm like, hey, let's get you. Yeah. I want to cut lines in your the sides of your hair like the boss. Yeah. And, and get a neck roll. All right, here comes Coco. Um, Alexandre says... Coach, these DNs are just awesome. Ben Johnson says, love the pursuit. All 11 helmets to the ball, great stuff. Coach Edding's in the house, wants to know um, any quick teaching techniques or, uh, yeah, any any little techniques that the nose has for splitting the double team. So his rule, right, his rule is he's a two-gap defender unless he's double teamed, right? And so what okay. I tell him is, like, you want to be double teamed. Like, two-gapping is the hardest thing in the world to do, right? So, like... You, you you welcome double teams because double teams means your job gets easier. It's a mm -hmm. little bit of a mind thing, right? Like a mindset. Like, I want to be good in doubles. I want you to double me because then my job's easier. Yeah. Right? I mean, they're, they're still high school kids. You can still talk them into shit. So, but realistically, <laughs> is whenever we try to get hip into him, right? Now, his balance is unbelievable, right? So, like, he does it a little different than other guys. But typically, we try to make, like, hands on the guy and then hip to pressure. Um, he's so balanced, he doesn't really have to turn his body at all. You know, he just keeps his feet. I mean, he, like mm -hmm. he jumps off mountains on keyboards, on skis for fun. So right. So, balance is not an issue. So we get a fourth and a fourth and short here, and I think they sneak it on us. Oh, um, I'm still on 33. Oh, okay, my fault. 33. Boy, now see Coco here. Right. This oh. is the difference in the rep. Dude. He's a freak. He's in there to do Coco special things, but his technique is the worst, right? That we've seen. It well, it's still pretty darn good. It's ridiculous, right? But like, I mean, coach, he, had he barely played. he does he doesn't go upfield, not even a step. No. He literally just no. starts shuffling left, like that's. <laughs> Dude, no, this is pretty impressive. This D line play is pretty that. impressive. In our film study, he's getting ripped for this. Right, like that's what's he getting ripped about. for? That's impressive. What do you do wrong? So when our one of our teaching points is when he gets the block down, he has to get his outside arm to that hip. So his right hand should be on 73's hip near okay. hip. Okay. Okay. See how he surfs? Yep. Bullshit. It's a bad rep. Now, granted, <laughs> he's a freak and he can do stuff. But when we look at tape, you know, 59, 82, those guys will be like, that's a bad rep, dude. Not, yeah, 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 yeah. We know you're going to Stanford, but like, get your <laughs> damn hand down there, right? Because <clears throat> that's just, you know, that's just the nature of that room. Oh my gosh! Look, hey, Sean Colt is in the house. What's up, Sean? Glad to have you here. Um, Sean, tell us where your next stop is, man. Anxious to hear. I know that you had a DC job, I believe, landed. All right. Now you said they sneak this one on you. Fourth and yeah, short. Yeah, here he goes that Oki front, right? We've got our, our Sam and our Will walked up, and we're bringing a little blitz, and they just get it. He squirts through behind the big line. It happens. Yeah. Yep. You know? And okay. so, but, you know, we live, we live, we make them work, okay, for it. Um, again, 35. Game, right? 35, quick game. Again, <clears throat> he's not an accurate passer. We're going to give him quick game, right? I didn't think he could complete enough to get down the field, right? Right. And, and so I mean, sure and enough, you're there. I mean, goodness, yep. by the time that that's literally a one yard pass, even if the kid catches it. Yep. 
And so then we get second and, and, and 10 again. They throw it again and again, and now he, now he fails it. And he would have got, I mean, he would have got drilled. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah. Man. Then we get third and long, which is where, you know, where we want to live. Now we switch here, Coach. We switch to dime. Okay. Now so you are, personnel. okay, you go to dime. So you change personnel. So I, who do you I, take out? Who do you bring on? I take the middle stack out. I, and people might think I'm crazy. But I think that the 3-4 is closer to our 3-5 than the 3-3-5. Three, three, okay. Right? Because we talked about how that beast backer doesn't have a gap. Right. So when I take him out, it really doesn't change our fits much. I like and that. Then, I like that thought. Right? It makes more sense. We have our overhangs still. But so now we're playing quarters, which my safety is not to play quarters because we play quarters over half. So now we're in true quarters. Yeah. We're matching underneath and we're playing essentially country cover four. Okay. And then they get a bad snap. Pressure bus bite, right? So Huge. They, they get a little crazy. Huge. Now here's, now you were talking about, when we get to play 51, you were talking about, uh, where I was talking about the, the getting in the ribs. This is a great example of ribs. All right? And so I think we're going to watch 59, our left defensive end, when he gets to club 51. And you're going to see how he sucks the air out. The pullers can't get to Boom. him. Boom. Because there's yep. no air it yep and that's how we teach it now we don't have extended long arms i want him in his rib cage to knock him off his path and then i want there to be no space for the puller to get in man that's sharp <clears throat> all right hold on a second fellas we are it's 8 30 which means this will be the last drive that we watch i want to say thank you to everybody who came in and watched and checked in if you haven't checked in yet it's not too late check in let us know where you're watching from Really thankful for your, all of you guys' support. Um, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow night watching film with Slade Singleton. A lot of offensive film, big-time spread guy. He's big on Twitter, out of the Carolinas. Good old Southern draw. So tomorrow night will be a fun one as well. Um, so, again, we're going to finish this drive. Then we'll let uh, Cody Gardner give us any closing thoughts. And in case you guys didn't know, dude, I fly out to Utah this weekend to see Cody. And uh, he's going to be speaking. So make sure you check that stuff out on the clinic. That's over at clinic.chiefpigskin.com. All right. We are on to the last drive. We just watched 51. Heading over to 52. Little play action. I'm going to go to the end zone view now. Play action, but they really have nowhere to go with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, now we're still in our two high looks. So we're in our three, four. Getting probably course to half. And then we jump into cover two on it. Uh, if, you, if you go back to the end yep. zone, uh, the side view, I don't can see. Yeah, I'm back on the sideline view two. now. So we've been giving them quick game, quick game, quick game, right? Yeah. And then we come into hard cover two. Now, is this a true cover two? Yes, sir. What makes you want to do this on this play? Like, what makes you go, you know what, let's go cover two? Because we've been giving him quick game, right? And so right. if he goes quick game, he knows he's been getting seven or eight on quick game and getting something third and short. Okay. Right? So what happens is we come up, so they've been running a lot of choice routes. So we press, they push. So now the quick game is gone. Yep. Right? So... I'm going to make them, I'm going to force the issue with them. And it's two back. So my theory is I want to get more run support. Yep. Um, with, with it in, in cover two. Man, well, it sure, oh. man, this is good. This is good. You look good, man. Okay. And fellas, hey, this is straight up a playoff game. They're just playing good defense. Third and eight or nine? Yeah, third, I'd say third and seven. Third and eight. Yeah, third and eight. And we stay in cover two again. Oh, is he going to get it? Yeah. Kid just straight takes off. Yeah, he was a good athlete. Man. And you know what? You've got you got yeah, linebackers' yeah. eyes on him, but yeah, he just didn't make the play. Yep, that one stiff arm. Yep. So then you go back to play 54, you know, their end zone shot. Now 99's in it. Sniffer again, the big boy. Okay. <laughs> And this is the and this is this is like the perfect the 
perfect play by 82. So he gets under both polars and makes the tackle for a TFL. Look at that! Fellas, that's big time. Watch this right defensive end gets both under under both pullers. Yeah. And, Man. And, they, and they know it. Like that's where he's gonna make the play. He can't make the play outside of it. But the only chance he has to make the play is can he get to the A gap? Can he get down in the A gap and see the ball show? Man. That's awesome. On to play 55. Now they go with a little something a little different, some sort yeah. of a. Oh, I mean, it's a little bit more horizontal. I don't even know what I would call this play though. I think it's outside just, zone. I think it's just a wide zone. Yeah. Yeah. I think they just kind of lead out and kind of stretch zone. Still tricky because I mean, in theory, as this thing stretches out, I better go to end zone view. It looks like nothing's mm -hmm. there, but sure enough, you wait long yeah, enough and there's patient, a little seam. Right? Yeah, good, pretty good inside out scrape from the backers. Ten Would you say, do, job. do you like 40, 14's choice to go inside this block, or would you rather see, does he fit outside that technically? Because that so, ends up being the scene. It does. His, his rule should be first open window. Um, and the problem I have with it is like, if he sees that as an opening, I wish he just hit. Okay. You know, that, that, kid runs, that kid runs a four, seven, just go, right? Yeah. Because if he goes, then, you know, eight's coming and it, it, it clears up the window for him, right? It'll be a little, mm -hmm. a little easier. But as it is, he still makes the inside out run. We get it, 82 stretches it and gives us time to get back in it. But that's my nose guard and my weak side backer getting all the way out there yeah. in pursuit. That's fantastic, man. All right, third and five, I'm on to play 56. They're going quick game. Oh, and that ball hung up for a while. I was thinking you might get someone to it. No, and that's, and that's my field corner. I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, he's, yep. he's out there for a reason. Um, you know, he did a nice job earlier on slant, made the tackle. That's really all we're worried about. I mean, that's a long, stinking throw. You don't usually see people throw hitch to the outside receiver of three, right? The yeah, outside of three receivers. 100%. He had I mean, strong arm. <laughs> like, no accuracy, strong arm. <clears throat> all right, 57. <laughs> First and 10. <laughs> First and 10. 57, I think we had a shoe malfunction. 58. Yeah, and so, remember I said, there's like, guys don't know where they'll throw it to 99. Yeah. And that's what they do. And sure enough, they, they do. The, they throw it to the big boy in space. He makes a nice catch, too. Boy, yeah, you can tell how big he is as he rumbles over your yeah. dudes. <laughs> yeah. Two of my guys aren't his side. Oh, man. I'm glad they make that play, though. Nice stop. Yeah, they're good ball players, man. Not big. We didn't scare anybody getting off the ball. Right. Now I see Coco's in. Coco is in. It's probably might be panicking, trying to get a little bit better, you know, try to upgrade us a little bit skill wise. Oh, they try some then, sort of little shallow. And it's actually not a bad, I, I bring pressure, I vacate, I bring two. Right. We bring five here and it's a, it's a good call, but I'm guessing with all the traffic and bodies in the way, it's just a tough ball to deliver. And like I said, he wasn't going to kill us underneath. Just one. right. Right. Um, and so, you know, all week, we just, die, guys, don't suck up. Give them the underneath stuff. Mm -hmm. And the hardest thing is being patient. Like, let's say they beat, they hurt you with it and drive one, right? It's hard sometimes right. to stay patient and go, okay, uh, it's a long game. We can't change it yet. Let's, you know, let's see if they can continue to do this. Now they just go straight up mesh, but yeah. kid bails. Not enough yeah, time. Yeah. Looks like you're Covered bringing a little... Down. You're not bringing anything. Just these three guys get the heat. That's, that's just Coco. He's okay. got that big vertical push. That's your dude. I mean, he's, you know, 6'4", 265, he's faster than you. That'll get you out of the pocket. Yeah, boy, he came in a hurry, man. Yeah. You chase him out of the pocket, and they get flagged. So now yeah, they're a third, and, third and a mile. Do you go back to your nickel or to your dime package? Yeah, yeah, we're back in dime, 100%. They get a little check down. Mm-hmm. We just tackle it. Yep. Get to the ball. Yep. Boom. Nothing, nothing gonna hurt us. Now, will they go for it? Yes, yep. Sir. They're gonna go for it. Fourth and seventeen. And we bring. Um, when they motion that guy Woo! back in, we, we check blitz the, the nickel. So I bring Goodness. the Mike and the Sam. And so we bring five. 
Look at this kid shot out of a can. And who's this? That's your nickel? Uh, uh, 14. With yeah, the, the spat on his foot? Him. Oh, my. Yeah, Look yeah, at that. We checked that. When he motioned in, I checked him go. And because I was already bringing the mic. Oh, my God. I figured he's flush. And then our nose ends up making the play. That's fantastic, coach. <coughs> wow. That, my friends, is another stop. For the miners picks up baby yeah, picks up. Yeah. um man well that was great to see thank you so much for sharing your film with us fellas if you enjoyed that make sure you uh or, well, of course make sure you follow coach gardner on twitter that's at cody gardner is there an underscore or a dash in there yeah, somewhere it's, it's, yeah it's at cody underscore gardner there you go at cody underscore gardner i will be in utah this weekend we'll be hanging out maybe do a little cover two barbecue I got to plan. I'm going to have to plan my recipe, man. I got to plan my recipe. <laughs> yeah, man. You got to bring it. Like, you know, I, I, I've seen you on the grill before. You got, you got some skills. So. <laughs> it, it's, it's pretty regular guy grilling, but I'll tell you what, I'll make my best. Um, okay. Fellas, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're going to come back to Coach Gardner here in a moment for his closing thoughts. Again, we'll be back tomorrow night, 8, 8 o'clock to 8.30, live, talking ball, watching a little film. Leave us a thumbs up if you can. And uh, look us up on Twitter if you're not following us already. Coach uh, he, Coach Hibero wants to know about how, how big your school is. Uh, like around 1,300, 1,250. Okay. Yeah, pretty decent size. Does that put you in the largest class in Utah? No, we, we're a 4A school out of 6. Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah, we'll go up, we're going up to 5A next year. We'll be the smallest school in 5A. Okay. Um, people not – so – whatever it, essentially people didn't want to play us anymore um and so we kind of like well and we didn't really want to play them you know, our region was pretty weak uh, it's hard to like you couldn't i mean we couldn't lie to the kids enough to get them to focus on shit half the year. yeah so yeah. we're like you're going up and now we're you know with the littlest and then like a six a powerhouse is coming down back down to five a um and they're in our region um i think in between the region team i think there are 34 state titles combined between all our all the teams in our region. It's, so that's coming up for this following this next yeah, season. This, yeah, this next season we're coming up. So um, I think I mean I still think we're a top eight program in 5A, um, but we're gonna have to go out and freaking prove it. You know we've got some yeah. horses, um, but you know uh, we we will take the you know and our kids are you know took it the right way. Whenever the, the rumors started floating around, you know like the AD asked me, and I'm like let's do it. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not comfortable being the, the favorite, right? I'm from Riverton, Illinois, man. Like we're never the favorite in football and stuff. And so I'm just not comfortable. Um, like the year we, we had the big run, like I'd never, I, I joked, I'd never been two and zero before and we won our <laughs> first 13 games. I, I didn't know how to do it. Wow. Like, I'm much better when people doubt me and think whatever. Um, and so going to five, a, I'm pretty stoked because people are going to expect us to lose and I don't. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna knock the hell out of people. Truth. Man, that's exciting. Well, coach, it's been a joy to watch you guys play ball, man. Any closing thoughts for everybody as we sign off? No, guys. It's just you know I appreciate this. I, I've enjoyed this. I, I you know I'm. I like the film Friday idea. I like this. Um, you know, and I wouldn't even be opposed to coming on and doing it again. It's letting like a, you know, Rigoberto or like Campos or you know some of those guys hop on, and even though them pepper questions at me as we go. Okay. Um, you know, when the thing is, too, I see in Utah is we see a little bit of everything. So if you guys wanted to see, like, you know, split back veer or eye back and 21 person and that kind of stuff, we kind of have film of us playing against everything. And then, you know, and, and we run everything. So, you know, I've got film of us being a 4 2, a 4 3, a right front. I mean, so if you guys ever want to, you know, hey, coach, what's this, what that, shoot me a holler, I'll share, I'll, sh I'll send you a cut up. I don't care. Great. Love it, man. Well, then, if we continue with this film idea for May, I'm going to get you back on. I would love to see some uh, something like that under center, anything like that. would be okay. fun to watch you defend it. All right, yeah, man. We some, yep, we do some funky stuff against beer, so yeah. I can imagine. You, you're willing to do anything. All right. I yep. can't wait to see it, Coach. I'm going to sign off right. and say good night. Thanks so much. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it. See ya. Another great night, guys. Thanks for joining us. We will see you tomorrow.